Hey y'all, how you doing? It's your boy Edge0626 bringing you back another video. And today we're playing, we got some Battlefield 1 uh, beta gameplay. Uh, it's not the best. I'm still learning, I was still learning stuff about the game while I was playing this, so. Uh, I did my best to do what I could for my team and stuff. Uh, this was a live commentary. Well, I, I, I taped this game live, so there's not gonna be any background noise. But uh, this is—I'm gonna give you guys the full gameplay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit for, and then you'll probably have the rest of it in live form. So I hope you guys can just bear with me on that. Now, what I want to talk about is a couple things about this game. Now, I know this is just a beta. I don't want to be sound too picky about it, but something about something here just doesn't add up to me you know like something just doesn't seem right about this game to me right now which kind of sucks because I do like it I now beta wise it's just something it's like something about this beta just doesn't add up to me man like I know like I can't even get my words out, dude. Really, that's just how frustrated I am as of late. And I'm frustrated especially today because today I'm taping it where I find out that the fucking beta gets DDoSed by fucking Poodle Corp and those faggots. Yeah, I said the word faggot. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, that's, that's all they are is a bunch of fucking faggots sitting behind computers fucking DDoSing shit like a bunch of assholes. Fucking fat-ass motherfuckers sitting in their parents' basement for all I give a shit. So I'm a little fucking salty today. That's what I am. I'm a little bit fucking salty. And what, I'm also salty about a couple other things, because yesterday, when I was playing the game, you know, like, when I was playing this game yesterday, I was having fun with it for a decent amount of time, and it wasn't until, like, the last hour and a half of this game I was running into a problem. Apparently, when you're playing the game and you put, do, press the pause menu, you're in La La Land for a good fucking hour and a half. What feels like an hour and a half or some shit. If it's a decent amount of time to fucking try and, uh, you know, it's a decent amount of time, uh, maybe at least a minute or two for it to fucking even load up. And it just really sucks, dude. Like, the pause menu, whatever the fuck's wrong with the pause menu needs to be fixed. Because I can't sit there for an hour and a half fucking waiting for a goddamn screen that I just wanted to change some settings or change a squad or something. That's another problem I was having in this game. For whatever reason, this game kept kicking me and my boys out of our squads. There was a time where my buddy Eggy, he got kicked out of the squad, and I'm not even sure if he fucking realized it, but we got he got kicked out of the squad. And we were like, okay, that was random, like, that was really random that you got kicked out for no fucking reason. And... What was any other problem? I, I even got kicked out of the squad a couple of times. Actually, a, a, a number of problems I was having was the fact that I kept getting kicked out of the fucking games. I was getting kicked out of games. For, um... This type of shit, dude. Like, I don't know if it, it was a connection because no one was really doing anything on the internet because I specifically told... You know, my brother and my sister especially, because, you know, I got siblings and shit. They're going to use the internet. You know, they're, they're going to check their Twitter. They're going to check their retarded fucking Snapchat fucking app. You know, I still think that thing's the most piece of shit, most pointless fucking app I ever heard of. But, um, yeah, I mean, they're still going to check that shit. So I'm sitting here like, okay, how about here's an idea. Please don't use the internet for a decent amount of time. I just want to, you know, all I want to do is um play this game and see and learn it and stuff and I know they weren't using it because I specifically gave them a deal saying you know how about this you spend half the day on the internet I spend the other half of the day trying to play this goddamn game and that's what and we agreed to that deal and I was they were cool with it and you know, I was playing yesterday for a good amount of time. I was playing it. I downloaded the beta because I was able to get it early because I got the code. And I, I was playing it for a couple hours. And all of a sudden, towards the end of the time of me playing it, I realized that, for whatever reason, I'm running into a lot of problems. Like, I'm getting kicked out of the squad. 
So now, not only am I getting kicked out of the squad, I'm getting kicked out of, um, uh, you know, games. I'm getting kicked out of games, dude, for no reason. Like, today, until I, when I found out that the shit was getting DDoSed, uh, the game just randomly kicked me out. Now, there's nothing u unusual to me, because it kicked me out a couple days, like, the day prior, for no reason. I know it wasn't an internet problem. It's just something, something about this beta application, and the beta itself is like fucking with me a little bit. That's what I feel like anyway. I feel like something. I feel like something about this is fucking with me. So I don't know. I don't know if anyone's getting that same type of feel, but you know the application of the beta and shit, and the whole joining, the whole joining friends thing. Stupid. I don't know why the fuck it was a, they thought it was a good idea to, um, uh, I don't know why the fuck it was a good idea to have a fucking pop-up every time someone in your chat party says, oh, someone, one of your friends or someone in your party joined a game, jo like, join this game and shit, like, why? Why include that in there? That's only gonna cause fucking problems, like, you know how many times that me and my buddies pressed that shit by accident because it just randomly popped up out of nowhere? Like, why is it so hard to implicate the squad um, system that you have in all the other Battlefield games into this? All you had to do was have a squad system set up. That's not hard. At least, I don't think it's hard. I mean, I could be wrong. They probably, that's probably just going to be for the full game, but it just seems to be really fucking frustrating. It's just really fucking frustrating when shit like that happens, you know? So, as you can tell, I'm a little bit pissed off. Now, let's get into some of the goods about this game. Well, actually, there's a couple of things gameplay-wise I want to get into. For one, um, the, the map is cool. I like the map. The only problem is, why in the fuck did they give us one map? I thought they were going to give us that, like, French, like, that French village in France and shit. I thought, at least I think it's in France or whatever. Um, why didn't they just give us that village in France too? Just add some variety. That's the problem I'm having with this game and this beta. Not the game, but the beta right now. Is that there doesn't seem to be any variety. You know? Just really, uh... It's, that's the problem. Like, there's, I, was getting, I got a message on my phone, so I'll take a look at that really quick. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not even gonna edit any of this shit out. You're just gonna get this uncut and live. Just like how, just how it should be. But, um, yeah, the, the, there seems to be a, not a lot of content. And gun-wise, they only give you, like, what, two or three guns per class? Maybe, you know, maybe any, any more than, maybe at least five? And there's still some guns that you have to, quote-unquote, unlock, and I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to unlock them. Like, so I'm sitting here with, like, a couple guns per class. Like, at least four guns per class. Like, I have this gun, I, I think this is the, uh artillery version of the, uh, I don't know what it's called, is it like the MP-18 or the MP-13? I don't know. I don't know the names of the guns off the top of my head. There's this one gun that I switched to that's really good. I don't know what it's called, but it's really good. It's like a sl slow automatic fire weapon, and it's fucking great. That's a gun I can go to. This this gun as well I, is, is a go-to gun for me. But um, the other gun I'm talking about that you're going to see later in the video that's a go-to gun for me right for now on I haven't of course in the beta anyway because who knows what types of guns are going to be uh, given to us in the whole game another problem and uh, actually a, a worry I'm having with the game right now is the fact that if this game is having all these problems with you know sometimes connection sometimes um, you know joining games and stuff that's another thing I was gonna say for whatever fucking reason, they thought it was a good idea that when you leave a server, you can't join another server unless you restart the fucking application. That leads me to believe that there's going to be a similar problem. And the last thing I want is that this, for this game to be like Battlefield 4. Now, I'm not, I've not played Battlefield 4 ever up until like June. And some of you might say, well, you didn't, yeah, you didn't know about what happened when the game started. Well, of course I know what happened, because a lot of my buddies who play Battlefield told me about it. This game, Battlefield 4, not this game, but Battlefield 4, was virtually unplayable for, like, months, if not maybe close to a year. And it took them minor, it took them fixes, like, they had to have patches, like, every other time or whatever, to fix
fix the goddamn game. I don't want that to happen to this game. That's what I'm worried about. So, from all these problems that I'm getting, I don't know who's getting these problems. Anyone, if, if you're getting these problems too, please let me know in, in the comments section. If this is going to be the same type of problems that I'm having in the game, I'm worried for what's going to happen when the game eventually drops and the full game is going to be released. I'm worried, man. And that's all I can say about it. I'm worried. And don't get me wrong, this is a good game. I enjoy this game. I do not enjoy the shitty teammates that me and my boys constantly get. Um, because we've been, we, there was a time when we were playing the beta yesterday. What's today? Uh, today's the 31st. We were playing on the 30th. We got, there was a time where we got, a, got into a game. And the game itself we just lost every game. We lost like five straight games of Conquest in a row, and we were, we were doing everything we could to cap flags. For some reason, we got the da -da -da teammates. Like, that's what we got. We got teammates that were going da -da -da the whole fucking game. And they, they didn't cap flags or nothing. They didn't defend flags. They didn't do any of that shit. Now, this is that gun I was telling you guys about earlier. I don't know the name of this gun, but this gun's a fucking beast. I like it a lot. And, uh... So... Don't get me wrong, the maps are good to play. They seem to flow really nicely. Um, e flag on Sinai Desert is kind of a fucking pain in the ass if you don't have a uh, if you don't have a vehicle to drive you to it. So I do not suggest running all the way to E flag. Tips and tricks here from your boy. Um, you know, other than the looks of the game and how the game feels and plays, you know, I, I don't really have any complaints. It's just some of these problems that the beta is giving me. That only makes me wonder about what's what it's gonna be like for the eventual game. And I saw a video from someone you guys may know named Eight Thoughts. You know, he, he seems. I saw a video that he had. He made the comment that this game won't kill COD, which you know, kind of to my dismay, because after Black Ops 3, I'm kind of hoping that game dies a very, very horrible death. Um, COD in general, anyway. And I don't really blame him for saying that, that this game won't kill COD. I mean, it's a good game. He said it itself, and I think the same. It's a good game, but if COD, the, if COD is the best-selling called first-person shooter every year, I got a feeling that this year, even though Infinite Warfare is receiving a lot of hate, this this year will be no different, if you ask me. So, I guess it's, I guess it's just the best that we all deal with that type of thing. But I think this I think I do think that this game will get a run for its money. I really do feel that. I mean, this game will give COD a run for its money if it's released properly. Remember, just realize what I just said. If this game is released properly and not have any problems, this game will give COD a run for its money. And that's my final thoughts. That's my thoughts on the beta as a whole as of right now. I can't even play the fucking thing. There's a fucking pro Poodle Corp and those dipshits over there. So, I have to live with it. I'm, I might as well best shut the fuck up. And, uh, you know, I don't know too much about this type of stuff, so who knows. But uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed these rants. The rest of the gameplay is going to, you know, fill out. And we're going to, um, you guys are going to get the rest of this in the live version that I recorded it in. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And let me know what you think in the comments section. I hope you guys have a good day. And I'll catch you all in the next one. It's all foggy and shit over here on the desert. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> when the when's the last time you seen fo fog on a desert? Uh, <laughs> it happens. It does happen. A few times when I was deployed. Straight. Yeah, if you're close to the uh, ocean, you're gonna get a lot of fog. We had fog so thick in uh, in Qatar that we literally could not see three feet ahead of us. It was bad. That bad? Oh yeah, it was Holy real bad. Holy shit. It was so bad they they stopped flights. They couldn't even taxi airplanes. We had to tow them anywhere we wanted to move them. That's that's nuts. It was, dude. It was funny. I had a friend of mine. He was on the other side of the flight line from me, and I could hear him. Oh, and all of a sudden, he starts screaming at me, like the guys on here when they start screaming to do the bayonet charge. 
he started screaming and running towards me and I didn't see him until he was right on me. It scared the shit out of me. All I could hear was... Get him, get him, get him, get him. Ah, no. Uh, eight health. Bullshit. Bullshit. Now we're really going to lose this game. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, get turned on. God, that makes me such a happy person right now. I needed that. I should I probably really hop in that. this fucking tank. Oh, shit. And then shit. I get knifed. I didn't need that, you dick. Oh, and then he gets knifed. I thought we started recording that. That shit was cool. <laughs> Damn, that sounds nuts. <laughs> I wish I was near because I'm recording. If you have an Elgato, oh. dude, you can, you can record, record everything there is. I, well, yeah, I got. I could also hit the, the same clip. Yeah. Taking the C. Where's this guy going? Oh, I'm in the back. No wonder why I can't see shit. Oh. I'm out of here. Nope. Yep. Tank. It's our tank, isn't it? Every time I am the worst person, the person walking the building. I was watching the building and like five dollars. Oh yeah, no! Damn! What the hell was that? I should have stabbed him. I should have stabbed him. That's bullshit. The guy on Charlie. Fox side of Charlie. He's in the building. There's two guys in the building. There's one pushing up the hill to fight or Charlie. Deploying the on it right now. He's on the hill. Okay, apparently he just ate like five bullets. And somehow he just has 60 health. That was more beautiful. Fuck! The guy in the building on the other side. Of course, I, I can't see where the fuck these guys are. Ten feet ahead, ten, three feet ahead of me, like you were saying earlier. Oh, come on, game. Uh, it's gonna be bad too, cause you're gonna have a lot of foreigners playing in servers, cause, just because. Oh, they shit, don't have I clicked the wrong playing. fucking thing. What's even worse is I think the I, I think the behemoth needs to come in at a to the losing team at uh, like say 150. If you're losing by 150 points, bring the behemoth in. Yeah, we need the points. we need the behemoth right we now. We haven't seen we haven't seen the behemoth since we we started playing this game. Yeah, you're right. I think I think 50 points, dude. For whatever reason, it's just in. not coming in, which sucks because we can use it right now. Now, this game's a hell oh, anyway. Which sucks. Duh anarchy. Zero kills, three deaths to this fucking faggot. I hate that shit more than anything. Dying to the same guy over uh, and over man. and fucking over again. Damn, I went 7 and 13 this game. Man, we were actually coordinating. We were actually yeah. coordinating our shit too and we couldn't do we couldn't win. Yeah, that I sucks. Myself. I was in the bomber. I was in the bomber for a good portion of the game, and then I attacked yeah. that fucking sniper. Yeah, I know what you mean. Don't, don't, Shit, don't man. Don't agree with me on that. I, I'm gonna agree with you if I want to, goddammit. Uh. Ah, fuck. So fog wasn't doing us any help either. No, yeah, I was dumb. I wish they would have the other map in there, though. 